Hi, myself Shantanu from Informatica Global Customer Support. I am here to give a short presentation on Informatica external procedure. Here is the agenda of the day. There will be an introduction. We will also talk about what is the need of this external procedure. We will also talk about the design behind this external procedure. At the end, I will be showing one small demo using small demo for creating a external procedure. With this, let me start with introduction. To extend the power center functionality, we can write a procedure outside of the power center designer and create an external procedure transformation to use that procedure inside the power center workflow. At a broader level, it is quite similar to the stored procedure transformation where we can outsource a transformation logic to a stored procedure, but for stored procedure transformation, we need a relational DB connection which is not required for external procedure transformation. On top of that, in order to develop an external stored procedure, the user is expected to write code in high level language such as C, C++ or VB. Along with this, the user also needs to be familiarized with Informatica data structures. Let's talk about what is the need of this external procedure. Although the standard transformation provides us with a wide range of options, there could be occasions when you might want to extend the functionality provided with Power Center. For example, if you want to have your own transformation developed using, using your own threading mechanism, you can always write your own CC++ code and create an external procedure. You can always apply your advanced programming skill to develop complex functions within a dynamic link library or unix cell library. Let's, let me come to the design part. It uses a programming interface called transformation exchange dynamic invocation in short form it is called TX which is built into power center. Using TX you can create an external procedure transformation and bind it to an external procedure that you have developed. With this, TX has basically two components, external procedure and external procedure transformation. We will talk about them in detail. What is external procedure? An external procedure is developed using HLL and it is developed outside of the integration service. There are two ways the external procedure can be developed. COM external procedure which is available on Windows platform only. Informatic external procedure using C, C++, VB. These are available on Windows, AIX, HPUX, Linux and Solaris. Once you develop your procedure in a high level language, it can be bundled into a DLL for Windows or shared library for Unix. And once it is bundled and kept it appropriately under Infra Home, it can be invoked by IS at runtime. External Procedure Transformation External procedure transformation is created in the designer and resides as an object in the Informatica repository. This corresponding object contains the metadata describing the underlying external procedure and using this metadata integration service knows the signature of the external procedure and binds the external procedure to the mapping. With this I am going to show the demo for developing an external procedure transformation which is linked to an Informatica external procedure implemented in C++. In this demo, I am going to show a basic calculator which is the below 4 basic operation addition, subtraction, multiplication and division. The source is a flat file with two columns, argument 1 and argument 2. Let me first show you how to create an external transformation. You have to go to transformation, create and uh, you have to select here external procedure and you have to give a name here. Then press create. This will create an external procedure. So here I have created four external procedures. One for each function which I have already, which I have specified in the earlier side as I am creating four different functions. Now I will show you what are the attributes we need to set it. So each transformation, there will be two input ports for two different arguments, argument 1 and argument 2 and one output argument which will be the result. It could be an add, it could be a subtract or division or multiplication. Coming to the properties, the type can be of informatica or com. 
I'm going to develop an Informatica which is basically a CC++ procedure and the programmatic identifier or the module is the name of the shared library DLL which will be created and you have to give this procedure name and runtime location is the location where the shared library or DLL will be placed. Please remember for each external procedure you have to create a transformation and the module and programmatic identifier should be same in order to use the same shared library or DLL which I have done it here you can see both of them has the same programmatic identifier the next step is we need to generate the C++ code so Informatica will generate the template codes and the user is expected to change the code where he can apply his own implementation logic so you can select all the transformation go to transformation generate code and here you can mention for what are the procedures for which you want to generate code the process the folder is already existing you can give So let me take you to the code which it has, it has created. So these are the source codes. These are all template codes and the user as I told is supposed to change the classes. Mainly for each procedure there will be a C++ car class like R.CPP, Division.CPP, Multiplication.CPP and Subtraction.CPP. These four classes is supposed to be changed. Now. I am going to because my server is running on Linux I am going to take this code to the Linux I will build it and create the library then I will put it in the runtime location and I will invoke it I have already taken the code I will show you how to build the code for building the code we have to set one environment variable pm home which is nothing but your Informatica home server win this, this environment variable should be set now this is where I have placed the source code I will be showing only one class and the other changes are similar to that so here you can see there are two vectors m underscore p in parameter vector 0 and m underscore in parameter sorry m underscore out parameter vector the in para in vector is for input parameters and out vector is for output parameters so we can retrieve the input parameters using the in vector and we have to put back the result parameters in the out parameters so here I have as I told there are two input parameters I have retrieved both the parameters and I have added those parameters and put it put the result here result is nothing but my output parameter here I have retrieved it so this is the basic change but in the real in the in the real time transformation this could be more and more complex now once the code changes are done for each platform there will be a make file for example for Linux this is my make file since I had already built there was nothing to build so I will be deleting all the results mostly my PM home is not set properly yeah that, that was the problem PM home should be set to your infra home server win
सेट पी एम होम आई हैड मिस्ड वन पार्ट हियर नाइन पॉइंट सिक्स वॉज मिसिंग नाइन सो आई हैड मिस्ड नाइन सिक्स वन सो पी एम पी एम होम शुड बी योर इन्फा होम इन्फा होम सर्वर विन Now once you build, you have to copy. It will create a shared library, and you have to copy this shared library to the location from where it will be picked. If you see it here, when I created this transformation, I had also told this is where my runtime uh, library should be present. Now all my environment is set. I have placed the library there. Now let me. run the session so it has successfully run it now let me show you the result I have to go to this target files to see the result because this is where I have put it. This is my <laughs> output file. So you can see the input parameters. <coughs> There were two input parameter, twelve and six. So this is the addition. This is the subtraction. This is the multiplication, and this is the division. That way, I have five rows. so this this finishes my demo and i hope it will be useful to you thank you very much for your time